Welcome to part three of our video series on RNA viruses. This video will be focusing on the arbovirus. Okay, so here are all of the RNA enveloped viruses, and we're going to be focusing on arbovirus. Okay, so uh, arbovirus actually stands for arthropod born, and that's because most of the viruses in this class are arthropod born vectors. So we've got the AR, if you put the AR and the BO together it makes ARBO. So if you look at this name it kind of tells you what you need to know. So you look at it and you see the AR for arthropod BO born. V for vector. Okay so we, within this one we've got uh, Togavirus, Flavivirus, and Bunyavirus, and Arenavirus. And within toga virus, we have alpha virus and rubivirus and rubella. And I put this in bold because this is the main one that we need to know about from this group, from the arbovirus. And then within flavor virus, flavor means yellow, and that has hepatitis C. And then within bunyavirus and arenavirus, we have hantavirus, which is rodent-borne virus, a rodent-borne virus. So we'll start on rubivirus, which is rubella. So I highlighted it, the last part in red, and we're going to associate that with Nutella. So Nutella, rubella, it rhymes, both of them end in Ella. And rubivirus, or rubella, is also known as German measles, not to be confused with measles from our previous video. So to remember that, we're going to think Germans eat Nutella, while wearing togas, because it's part of toga virus. And this is another important thing. This is an exception. And anytime you have an exception, you always got to know that because those things definitely show up on exams and study materials. So it's transmitted by respiratory droplets. And note that this is the only toga virus not transmitted by an arthropod vector. So this breaks that ARBO rule. Uh, rubivirus is going to be transmitted by respiratory droplets, not by an arthropod vector. And the main symptom is an erythematous rash. Whereas with rubella, it's coplic spots. So rubivirus, rubella, um, it's mostly eradicated due to the MMR vaccine, the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine. It is a teratogen. It, which means it causes malformation of an embryo or fetus. We've got a mnemonic here that's going to help us remember all of the teratogens, all the viral teratogens, and it's torches. And you'll see that some of these are uppercase, some of them are lowercase. The ones that are uppercase followed by lowercase are meant to remind you of the name of a, of a microorganism. So Rubella is going to be for the R in torches. So the R in torches mnemonic is going to remind you that this is a placenta crossing organism. So the TO is for toxoplasmosis gondii. This O should be lowercase here, but we've got it up here. And then the R is for rubella. The C is for cytomegalovirus. The H is the HE is for herpes simplex virus. So the HE stands for a couple things. Herpes simplex virus, herpes zoster, and hepatitis B, C, and E. And then the S in syphilis. So you might run across a question on one of your national board exams or on a study material or on a practice test that would ask you know, which of the following diseases is a teratogen. And you might have rubella on there. You might have measles on there. Uh, you might have rubiola on there. And so you have to really be on point with the distinguishing between uh, measles, uh, between rubiola and rubella. Okay, so not coplic spots. That's regular measles. Uh, coplic spots are for rubiola, not rubella. And do you remember our mnemonic for that, for coplic spots? The cop spots your areolas. 
Okay, so there's a congenital rubella syndrome that you have to be aware of. So this occurs when a non-immune woman is infected with the virus during the first trimester, especially during the first month, and it can result in significant congenital malformations in the fetus. Some of these malformations include in the heart, uh, patent ductus arteriosus, in the eyes, cataracts, in the brain, deafness, and intellectual disabilities. So here's our review of rubella. So rubella is German measles, not, rub not rubiola, not measles, German measles. So it's togavirus or arbovirus, not paramyxovirus. It's not copic spots because that's rubiola. Remember, it's erythematous rash. So it falls within the category of togavirus and then arbovirus. It's transmitted by respiratory droplets. Remember, this is the exception to the arthropod vector rule. It's the only togavirus not transmitted by an arthropod vector. We have the MMR vaccine, which is measles, mumps, and rubella. So we can use the MMR vaccine for both measles and German measles. It's a teratogen. Remember that torch is mnemonic. And then congenital rubella syndrome in the first trimester of the first month. Here's a little chart right here. So we've got rubiola, which is measles. And then we've got rubella, which is German measles. Uh, rubiola is going to have coplic spots. You can use MMR vaccine for it. Uh, rubella is erythematous rash, not coplic spots. We've got a torch of mnemonic, and it can also uh, be helped out with the, vac the MMR vaccine. Rubiola is part of the paramyxovirus, and rubella is part of togavirus and arbovirus. And for rub rubiola, we're going to remember the cop spots or areolas. And for rubella, we're going to remember the Germans eat Nutella while wearing togas. Okay, we're moving on to flavivirus. So fla flavi, flavi is yellow. So you'll notice there's a lot of uh, fevers with this one. You've got yellow fever, we've got dengue fever, we've got the West Nile fever, West Nile virus, uh, also hepatitis C. So yellow fever is mosquito-borne. Uh, it has a monkey or human reservoir, and the symptoms include fever, black vomit, and jaundice. And that goes in, and that's why it's called uh, flavivirus, yellow, because that's a main symptom. So to remember this, we're going to think that a skeeter or a mosquito, a skeeter, a skeeter on a monkey's peter bites it, likes the flavor, and bites you and makes you nice and yeller. Next up, we've got arbovirus, uh, bunyavirus, and arenavirus. So within this one, we have hantavirus. This one is rodent, a rodent-borne virus. And to remember that, we're going to think bunnies playing with rodents in the arena. So bunnies playing with rodents in the arena. I think that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, Make sure to like the video for me and uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Uh, good luck, as always, studying, guys.